I recall providing a number of images to the creative team and they all looked pretty bored as I was flipping from one to the next. And this particular image that was used to decorate this hall, suddenly half of them jumped out of their chairs. <laughs> when they realized that it came from Lucy, they were excited to have that image and it's been placed here in the Great Hall of Human Origins of the American Museum of Natural History. Scientifically, it's an incredible image. Lucy is renowned as an approximately three foot high woman from Ethiopia, from fossil deposits approximately three million years of age. And the importance of Lucy was at the time she was discovered, it was the first insight into the whole body organization of an early human. We were given permission by the Ethiopian government to look at Lucy's femur because we were interested in finding the micro-anatomical evidence of her walking on two legs. The scientific significance of the imagery we could tell from the arrangement of her mineral and collagen fibers in her femur that these collagen fibers were oriented in ways that were optimized for using the bone in a bipedal way, so she's walking on two legs. To produce an image that has a scientific content, fine, but if that's all it is, it doesn't meet the purpose that we have to provide the viewer with an aesthetic experience in addition to the scientific one. You know, it's a credo actually in our lab that the students who, who learn imaging science, they don't just learn about optical technologies, they also learn how to provide an exquisitely aesthetic image at the same time. <laughs>